Hello and welcome from my kitchen at All Saints Rectory. It's Friday. It's the weekend. It's also a bank holiday weekend, but I don't suppose many of us will notice any difference. Who can tell? Now, talking of which, I have behind me a plant that is also a bit confused about the time. Um, I've actually forgotten now whether it's supposed to be a Christmas cactus or an Easter cactus. Uh, it didn't flower at Christmas, it didn't flower at Easter, uh, and it's just coming into flower now. And I think it will be in very nearly full flower uh, for the weekend, which I think marks the end of Ramadan and Id all fitr. So perhaps my um, cactus has become a Muslim. Well, marvellous. Um, but anyway, uh, it's, um, it's not been well for some time, although I do water it, so... Any of you who are plant experts, uh, botanists, what have you, if you've got some tips for uh, confused cacti, uh, please let me know. Some of you may know that uh, this week has been Mental Health Awareness Week and there have been all sorts of podcasts and videos, including some from the uh, Duke and Duchess of Cambridge uh, to help raise awareness of the need for positive, for good mental health. And uh, I've done a couple of videos uh, on the YouTube and Facebook channels uh, under All Saints Newton Heath uh, to chip in with that because it's something that's very, very close to my heart. It's really important we spend time looking after our interior lives. I mean, our mental lives, our bodies, of course, are very important, but our, our minds, we are, you know, uh, they are, our brains, if you like, we are, they are the minds in the machine. They are what keep us going. It's really important we maintain them. So it's really important to maintain these inner lives because um, without them, uh, the rest of us, whether we realise it or not, will cause to go a bit kind of wonky. And I was reminded of that today uh, because about an hour before making this video, I wandered over to church to get some things out of church. And I noticed that the laburnum, big huge laburnum tree, had blown down. And yeah, the winds were much stronger than I expected today, but I didn't think they were going to be that strong. Anyway, this huge tree in pretty much full flower had just crashed towards the north side of the church. Fortunately, there's no damage to anything or anyone, no damage to the building. But to outside appearances, that tree was absolutely fine. A big solid tree with a sort of 18 inch uh, diameter trunk at the bottom. But now that it's toppled over, you can see that it's absolutely rotten inside. It was unwell for some time but nobody knew. Now there are some folks who are suffering from all sorts of illnesses be they physical or mental illnesses and there's no outward sign that things are wrong but of course human beings are trees we have an awareness that trees don't so we can do something about it and it's really important to articulate to speak about things that are troubling us we feel things aren't right in certain parts of our body if we have uncomfortable feelings that keep recurring in our minds uh, during our waking times or during our sleep, uh, we can comment on those, we can talk to those things, we can talk about those things with somebody we can trust. You know, we're not trees, but we are like trees and that sometimes our outward appearance is not a representation of what's going on inside the reality, inside. It's been really, really important to stay on top of positive mental health in these last few weeks, these two months or so. And I'm really sorry and fed up. There are so many sort of differences and sometimes differing accounts of when schools are going to open and for whom they are going to open. And this just simply adds to the stress levels for everybody concerned. You at home, us who are school governors, let alone the staff who have to make sure the schools are ready for a return whenever it happens. And I'd just like you to know that we are all so grateful for all the work you're doing with the teaching and learning at home, despite all the many, many difficulties of, of juggling, running the rest of the household, chipping in, doing your bit, uh, working and balancing that with other commitments as they arise. It's unprecedented but you're all doing amazingly and thank you so much for that. And I want you to know that from at our end of things, we're working really hard. Governors are updated almost daily 
with ever-changing plans and thoughts for how we can best make the schools safe and a, and a healthy environment for you young people to learn and to grow and to develop. It's really stressful for all of us, but we do it gladly. It is our duty, but it is also our joy. Now, people say that we're all in this together. We are, you know, we're all in the same boat. We're not by any means in the same boat, but we are all in the same storm. And we've got different sort of vessels in which we travel to get from the storm's end to the storm, the storm's beginning to the storm's end. That's just how it is. Uh, and it's natural to be impatient. It's natural to be frustrated. It's natural to be upset. Uh, that's just how it is. It's just natural also to be worried. But please try not to worry because worry takes up a lot of time and it changes nothing and it tires us out. So it really is important to make some time to prepare all of you, no matter how old you are, just to be quiet at the beginning of the day if you can, to look at the day ahead, and then at the end of the day to reflect back on that day and thank God for the good things that happened or just be grateful for the, the things that happened to you that had good outcomes. And just look at the things maybe that didn't go quite so well and try and ask why they didn't go quite so well and begin to make plans for the following day. But it's great, if you can, to begin your day quietly and to end your day quietly. I'm sure that will help with a good night's sleep. These are really confusing times and all I can rather sort of just meekly offer you are my prayers at this time. But please, if you're anxious, reach out using the email or the phone number you'll find on our social media. We are there to help you. The governors don't just meet in school at governors meetings. We are there. We are public figures and our details are publicly available. Now on Sunday, um, I've got to turn my thoughts to Sunday, I know that there is a reading that's actually quite useful for this time and it's a reading that concerns Jesus and Jesus wanting all his friends really to rub along well together. And we can take that to mean really that Jesus wants all of humankind, all of us on this earth to be one. Not identical, not clones, but to be one. All pulling, or pushing if you like, in the same direction. Um, so that's why I'm not particularly bothered whether my um, plant is uh, any longer that uh, Christian and has become a Muslim. Uh, we all have the same core values of love and truth and charity and kindness. And I think that's all we owe to one another at this time. But we need to be working together for the same goals because we're all different we've all got something we can chip in and we can all be useful so I'd just like you to think about that you've all got something that you can chip in to the pot now uh, next week i'll continue to do these little addresses to you for the weekend um, whether you find them useful or not they will be there for you to look at or to ignore or to fast forward through next week it's going to be a birthday in All Saints Rectory Kitchen and there will be cake and the following week a week on Sunday there will be a cup of tea as well and possibly some homemade scones and those of you who know something about the church calendar might understand why we're going to be having some celebrations these next few Fridays. So the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest upon you this day and always. Amen. So good afternoon, good night and try to enjoy the bank holiday weekend and make it a little bit special and different from all the days that have just gone before.